Hello everyone, welcome to the Plurity channel. My name is Marta, I'm marketing manager, and in this video we'll take a look at some of the options for showing pop-ups uh, on your website. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our new videos. If you have ever been to any online store, you definitely know how the pop-up uh, works. Uh, every online seller wants to grab customers attention wants to increase conversion rate uh, that's why pop-ups became so popular and so often used uh, by online uh, retailers and what is even more interesting about the pop-ups is that there are so many different ways um, of setting up and showing uh, those pop-ups that they can basically be adjusted to every website, to every design, um, every layout on the website. So basically, uh, we can dive now a little bit deeper into this topic and check what are those options for showing a pop-up. Uh, we'll need to open our Plurdy account, go to Forms and Feedback tab and press Build Form. Basically, here we see uh, different types of forms, um, of course, uh, uh, for different goals, for different needs, uh, we will need to, um, to choose a specific type of form, but the display rules uh, and like those um, show up rules are the same for every, uh, every pop-up, so we can just choose any of them as an example. So I will create an email collection form uh, and we'll name it show. Okay, so uh, on the step one, we need to um, come up with a form design. So basically we can add an image, we can add a text, but what is more interesting uh, uh, for us at this moment, uh, display rules. So when we open this tab, we need to go to when to show uh, section. And here basically we have those different rules. Uh, the most common practice is to set up a pop-up uh, for us after a specific um, amount of seconds, like for a specific time. For example, if I add here 10, that would mean that uh, this pop-up will be shown on the website uh, for a user after he spent 10 seconds on this uh, specific page, if you choose a specific page, or on, on the website in general. Also, we can um, set up... Um, uh, a certain uh, amount of days after which we want to repeat this pop-up, uh, uh, clicks, uh, scroll depths, uh, also like there is an opportunity to add all of those rules. However, remember that the more rules you add here, the lower are the chances that the user will see uh, this pop-up because every rule is an additional limitation uh, for uh, this, this pop-up. So the chances uh, are in general lower. Uh, so always be aware about this and add the rules that are really uh, important and really make uh, um, make sense and make difference. So, uh, one more interesting thing here is this rule click on hot selector. Basically mm, here, if you hover on the question mark, we will see a small uh, explanation. But this rule uh, is used when you want to set up a pop-up for a specific element or button on your website. For example, you have a button um, on a specific event on the website. Um, you want users to, to click and uh, uh, subscribe to it. So you can set up uh, this pop-up. In one of the previous videos, I have been explaining the process of uh, how to set up uh, such pop-up. So you may check it out. Okay, so um, also page exit, uh, this is an additional thing here. Uh, you can um, enable page exit intent and the pop-up will be shown uh, for the users who are about to leave the website. Um, among other rules, we can also choose traffic groups, so uh, we can choose whom we want this uh, pop-up to be shown. We can choose the specific pages on which we want this pop-up to be shown. As a placement, there are nine different uh, um, uh, options for the pop-up uh, placement. Uh, the most common one is uh, the right lower corner. So this is a place where this pop-up won't be uh, annoying for users, won't irritate them. Uh, however, it also depends on your website design. It is very individual. So if you don't want this pop-up to cover any other important content on your website, choose uh, the most 
neutral place on your website. Um, yeah, so it's basically up to you and depends on your uh, situation. And the last uh, interesting thing is shortcut, but uh, shortcut button setting. Uh, if you enable the shortcut button setting, uh, you will have to um, set up a button uh, on uh, is, and this button uh, will trigger the pop-up. So basically, the user won't see a pop-up uh, until he clicks on this button. So uh, this is also a good uh, good option to consider and a great way to. Uh, engage your uh, customers. Um, so basically, that were all of the options that we have. You see that the opportunities, uh, uh, there are really a lot of opportunities. Um, so um, the rest is uh, up to you. So thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Uh, I hope to see you in the next videos and wish you a great day. Take care. Bye.